So after travelling more than halfway across Australia, our Canning stock route adventure was about to begin. But before we left Waluna, we pulled up at a road sign just out of town that told us that Halls Creek was 1,799 kilometres away. Our group consisted of Matto and Janita in a Prado, Pete and I in a Triton, and Heather and I in a 100 series Land Cruiser. Pulled off the uh, main highway and decided we're going to let our tyres down. They were in 40 before for travelling on the bitumen with this heavy load. But here we are at Well 2A, and. Um, it's also known as the granite because of all these granite boulders and uh, granite so much around in the area. And it, it's sort of fallen into a bit of disrepair. As you can see, the water's uh, there, but it's not very nice. It was here that um, Canning got to on his, on his trip down the stock route and they ran out of food. And it sort of turned into a bit of a dire situation. So Canning went on further into Waluna and found that they were out of food as well because the uh, supply uh, supplies hadn't come up uh, from Kalgoorlie and so Canning set off uh, by horse down to find the supply wagons and uh, was able to stock up and return back to the men who were still here and move on again. This is a really nice spot. Uh, so it's day two on the track and um, we're at Windage Springs which was named by John Forrest, the surveyor, and he named it after his mate and guide, an Aboriginal fellow called Tommy Windage and uh, it's a really spectacular spot.
Getting past Blake disappointment on dusk last night, so we decided to camp up in the sand hills and um, see if we could catch a bit of light as the sun went down and uh, and at uh, dawn this morning. The, the sun hasn't really got over the clouds. There's a big storm brewing over the back there, uh, which is bringing lots of colour into the sky. So if you get a chance to walk on Lake Disappointment, I'd really recommend it. This is the fuel dump at well 23, as you can see there's uh, 44 gallon drums of fuel, diesel and petrol uh, scattered around with your pre-buy it, they put the na your name on top and um, you hope for the best that it's going to be here when you get here. We we've chosen a different option, that's to fit the long range automotive uh, extra tank in the car which should give us plenty of fuel to get to Coonawarity. to Gaynor Schumann out on the Canning Stock Route and Gaynor is doing or planning a, a walk later on uh, unassisted, is that correct? Um, well in 2013 I walked with suppliers, dug into the ground beforehand and I walked on my own. At the moment what I'm trying to do now is see if, it's, um, if there's enough bush tucker and water out here to do a live off the land walk between Waluna and Bililuna. So that's a pretty long trip, how long do you expect that to take? Uh, live off the land walk. The distance uh, by track from Billy Luna to Willuna is at 1,657 kilometres. In 2013, I managed to shave off 200 of those kilometres by taking what I call drovers lines. So it's more direct lines between the wells. But I had 4,500 calories of food a day in my supply stores. So I was well fed and I could do 30 kilometres a day with a 30 kg pack. So I'm with Bill Johnson from the Coonawarriji community and uh, Bill's the CEO out here and uh, he's just filled up the car. You see a few people coming through every year, Bill? Yeah, we get sort of uh, over 900 vehicles coming through each year doing the canning stock route. What, what, what's uh, the most common uh, vehicle problem that you see? Shock absorbers. Yep. Yeah, people overload their vehicles and uh, they keep telling me that they buy the best and uh, uh, put it on their vehicles and uh, yeah, they put too much fuel and water on their vehicle and yeah, so we're constantly flying in on the mail plane shock absorbers from uh, Port Edelman. Yeah, okay. So the country uh, it's pretty much the same as what we've seen so far. Uh, sand hills aren't as, uh, as high uh, but the ruts, the corrugations this morning have been probably as bad as uh, we've experienced anywhere on the road. Probably, I don't know, I think 30 kilometres, 40 kilometres north of Kunawarriji. Uh, just really poor corrugations. 
and um, this going's been pretty slow. We're doing just over 20 kilometres an hour because these corrugations are quite quite severe. Uh, there are probably as many theories about how to drive on corrugations as there are drivers and I'm certainly not going to pretend to be an expert. But for me on this trip, the uh, prime uh, thing is to get to Holtz Creek without breaking anything. site just near well 37 is the resting place for uh, three people from the first uh, drove south on the Canning Stock Route in 1911. It's thought that they were murdered or well they were dispatched anyway by Aborigines uh, around about the 24th of April. Here's Chinaman and we've got George Shoesmith and James Thompson in this grave here behind us and uh, certainly an indication that the local Aborigines at the time thought it was uh, pretty inappropriate for uh, a mob of 150 cattle to be herded down the down the stock route. Well, 50, and as you can probably see, it's pretty neglected, as have a lot of the uh, wells north of Coonawarity. It, it seems to be that south of there, uh, Track Care and, and other people, I guess, have done a really good job in maintaining the wells, keeping them, keeping them working, and pro providing facilities like uh, fireplaces and toilets and some of the significant sort of wells along the track there. I really like the HEMA 7 that we've been using to navigate the Canning Stock Route. You can see here we've zoomed right in onto the Golvita Soak, which is just away from Well 50. You can see that blue track where we went past the soak up to the, follow, the road followed a, uh, down to a really nice little creek. Uh, but we're back to the Golvita Soak and we're right on it. You can zoom out. This is zoomed in right to 500 or 100% is what we've been normally using. But there you'll see there's the, the well and then you'll see the road that we came in on from the stock route to Well 50 and the map shows a couple of alternative uh, ways out of Well 50, a, a shortcut there back 
onto the road. We found it extremely accurate. Uh, the arrow gives us the point of direction of travel that we're, that we're heading to and it's so accurate that if I stop and reverse only a couple of metres, the arrow will go backwards. So I've got Cheryl Anderson from the Wally Eady Art Centre in Balgo. Uh, this is a pretty important art centre, I understand. People are generally astounded when they walk into the art centre. Yeah, I think that for people who are, are using the Canning Stock Route, it'd be, it'd be great if they could come this way through um, Balgo, through Mullen, onto Lake Gregory and Parku. <laughs> You could finish the Canning Stock Route in a number of different places. You could finish at Well 51 if you wanted to, the last well coming north, or you could finish right here in Old Halls Creek, and I like to think this is the right place to finish. Thanks for coming along in our adventure. We, we really enjoyed it. It's funny, yesterday uh, we pulled into town to get some fuel and met someone and they said, uh, where have you been? We said, oh, up the Canning Stock Route. And they said, what was it like? And Heather and I both just looked at each other and went, well, what was it like? It was, it was tough. It was long. Uh, it was an achievement. It was dry. It was beautiful. It was part of Australia's history. And I'm glad we did it. Mm -hmm.